Y'all, I had a big struggle with this one right here. We are on to our 8th edition of the Zodiac Rapper Portrait series, Mispronounced. She is the Virgo of the series, and I figured Virgo might as well have been a woman because it is more of a feminine sign, or perceived to be feminine, although the same thing didn't apply to every single character in the series. So, Mispronounced name is really a pun, mispronounced, like, in reference to her real name, Nadege St. Marie. So, like, that means, like, people probably can't pronounce her name right on the first go. The name, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Nadege, but I've also seen it as Nadeja. It is spelled N-A-D-E accent grave or E with a grave accent, G-E. You'll see it on the screen. I'll try to keep it in the center because for some reason, whenever I put the text on the side, you can't really see it, at least not on Instagram. So I have no idea what that's all about. But Nadege is a name coming from Russian, Haitian, and French origin, meaning hope. And then St. Marie, her last name was in reference to Virgin Mary for Virgo. Mispronounced is themed around the 90s women rappers like Queen Latifah, MC Light, a little bit of salt and pepper, Moni Love, and even Nia Long was used as another inspiration for her appearance. I think I had written a couple of actresses down. It was mainly Nia Long, even though I don't know if Mispronounced technically resembles her, but she was at least another inspiration for her besides like some of the rappers already stated. Mispronounced lyrics is supposed to be about equality, love, and respect for one another, and again, she's like a womanist, which is a lot more inclusive than a feminist, just to say. I tried to draw an updo on her, like if you've seen those types of hairstyles from the 90s. She has her hair slicked into a high ponytail with a small bantu knot in front of it, and she's got some tendrils hanging off of the side. And I tried to do her edges, but I don't know, I have to figure out how proportion works like with their forehead and like showing the baby hairs like way more above this is off script but i remember when i was way younger and i drew characters foreheads like way too tall for no reason and then now it seems like sometimes i have trouble like putting enough space there to where it looks like it makes sense oh boy you probably saw me erasing on the video and there's like a huge smear on her eye or in her mouth. Now I'm mad for one because I need to start paying attention to what specific colors, like marker colors to use for my characters. And I need to start like writing down like what colors I use for who. Because there were made too many layers that went into me doing mispronounced skin. The color I chose at first was too light like you're seeing right now and not like what was in her very first drawing, which I'll show somewhere around here. And the inky pen I used, like you, you already saw it smear in the video if it hasn't happened already. And later on, you'll see that I try to cover it with like some of the colored pencil. But once again, I apologize for the way that my camera kept moving. Well, not even my camera. It was my phone that I'm recording with that kept moving on the tripod. I don't know why it keeps sliding up. It won't balance properly. So I'm so sorry if it keeps going out of frame. I was trying to hide the smears with like colored pencil layers and I just kept using the wrong colors with the markers and it was just, I was all over the place. I kept using Crayola colored pencils to layer on top of the marker, but I've noticed like as I collected more and more art supplies over the years, the Prisma colored pencils I have layer on top of alcohol based marker even stronger than Crayola. Sometimes It really depends on the colors sometimes. And it depends on like what kind of effect you want. I apologize, I keep saying like over and over. Another thing is I should have been a little bit smarter about outfit planning for each of the characters. Now, I guess I didn't think it was an entirely big deal because each of the drawings will probably update more significantly like for this future idea I had because I wanted to turn these drawings into coloring pages eventually. I don't know when it's gonna happen because well, I want to make it happen soon, but I really don't know what's going to happen in general. But it would have to be... What am I trying to say? Because I have a lot of mistakes I need to fix within the drawings. And I need to make full body versions of them. And, like, especially for the full bodies, I should have planned out the outfits. Not only do the colors look super muddy on this drawing that you're seeing right here like with the work in progress of, I'm mad because there's a drawing that I thought 
came out a little bit better in the first place that I did of this pronounced before I decided I was going to start recording all of my drawings. So I'll show it around the end of the video. If only I had combined like the basic idea of how I wanted to draw her face in combination with the hair and the drawing that you're seeing like the full work in progress so it just would have looked better like in general but yeah i still hope you enjoyed seeing the process though